Hey there guys, it's the 23rd of November 2016 today. I am going to show you how to put some more memory into a HP Pavilion slimline computer. Uh, it's a PC desktop. It's an AMD Phenom 64-bit machine. So it's, although it's a 2008 model, it's actually quite, uh, you know, it's quite a decent machine and, and fairly capable. Unfortunately it's running Windows Vista but I've actually put on Windows 10 factory set and put on Windows 10 and I was quite surprised that even though Windows 10 isn't activated yet Windows 10 runs pretty well. Um, about the only thing I can find so far that you can't do with Windows 10 whilst it's not activated is um, personalize it so you can't put your own picture and things on the background but if you want to download Chrome or different browser or pretty much anything you know works pretty well I was very surprised so I'll, let's get to it and I'll, um, I'll start by showing you how to open up the computer and uh, eventually get the memory popped in the first thing we need to do is um, take off the the case the case is held on by three screws at the back. This one. So I may as well do that now. No time like the present. Okay. Uh, not these two. And there's another one here. So if we just stand it up. And then this one down here. Tip the computer onto its side like that and give it a little tug there and the back the case will actually just pop off. Before we can do anything the very first thing we've got to do is take the front fascia panel off and to do that there's um, some little clips inside, two at the bottom and there's two at the top. I'll give you a closer view. Okay, so these are the two clips that you're interested in. There's this one here, okay, and then there's this one further down here. It's this one down here that's a little bit tricky because you've got to get your finger inside or something um, to point with and just give it a little push, a gentle push, important to be gentle, you don't want to snap them off. You've got to push the bottom one away, push it away from you, not pull it towards you. You've got to give it a gentle push away from you you've got to give this one uh, a gentle pull towards you and as you do the, the front panel will just sort of ease forward same with the bottom ones except at the bot this is the bottom of the fascia panel this clip here okay unlike the top one you've got to pull the bottom one towards you a little bit and this one you've got to push away from you Right, I'm going to attempt to uh, slowly pull the front away now. So I'll start with the bottom. So that's just come away slightly now. The front's just come away sort of a quarter of an inch. Now to the top one. So I'm going to I'm just going to get my finger down inside and push that bottom clip. And I just felt it release. And then pull the top one towards me. There we go. You've got to remember to be gentle because you don't want to snap the clips off. And there's the front panel. The memory slots are hiding underneath the DVD optical drive which dominates quite a bit of space inside the, the little tower. So, but before you can get at this, you've got to take this little gadget out which is, uh, I believe it's some kind of um, external drive bay. To do that, there is a little switch. It's like a little plastic lever just at the side here. What you have to do is you just lift it up, he says. There we go. And it just releases. It's literally just clipped in and that just releases it. Right, the next step is we need to start releasing the 
optical drive. In order to do that, first thing we need to get rid of is this black screw here. That's holding it, that's like locking it in. Okie dokie. So if I just undo this. Okay. The other thing, uh, the next thing to do is there is some uh, the optical drive connectors. There's a power connector and a data cable uh, just at the back of the drive. Okie dokie. Right. The next thing you need to do is remove the um, power connector and the data connector, which is these two little leads at the back. That's power, that's data. The easiest way to do that is to move the drive, the DVD drive, forward slightly. Don't take it out completely because obviously the leads are still connected. To do that, you've got a little metal clip on the casing holding the drive in. Push it forward slightly. Okay, and just move the drive forward very slightly, but be careful because it will catch on the memory just down here. But just enough to give you a bit more leverage with your hand down in this little gap. A bit tight in there. So pull the power out, pull the data out. Obviously, guys, you need to have the mains power disconnected before attempting any work on a computer like this, common sense and all that, you know. So, these two leads are now disconnected. The DV drives, you, you can actually, you can remove the drive completely if you like, which, which I'm going to do. There we go. One DVD drive. Whoops, wrong way, sorry. Okay, so pop that over there. And that actually reveals the memory now. So this strip of circuit board here is the memory and it's held in with two clips. There's a little white clip at the side here and a little white clip here. And what you have to do is you just carefully get your finger, mind the cables and push each clip at the same time and you'll get a nice little reassuring click and you can just prise the memory out like that. Okay, okay. so this is the old um, strip of memory, this is two gigabytes um, at about 600 megahertz which is the speed of the memory and I'll just put that down there and I bought this off eBay actually it was only a, a fiver and these are two strips, two gigabytes each and these are 800 megahertz. So I'm going to pop these into these uh, two slots now, just here. You can just zoom in a little bit. Okay, so let's see if this goes smoothly the first time. There's a little um, obviously there's a little notch in the middle and one side there's more pins than the other so you have to line them up correctly. Let's pop this one in first. Excuse me if my head gets in the way. Okay, you just give them you have to line them up and give them a little push and the two little white clips here will just come back up and slot in. Okay. And we'll pop the other one in. They can be a little bit tricky. That that went pretty damn well, actually. Pleased with that. So there we go. This machine did have two gigs, six hundred megahertz. It's now got four gigabytes at eight hundred megahertz. So hopefully, um, when I switch it on, it should be running much more efficiently. Okie dokie, so now the memory has been inserted, uh, it's just a case of um, reassembling the PC, reversing the steps you took earlier. So, uh, here we have the DVD drive, I'm just going to slot that in the front there. You 
You just have to press that little switch there and press it again. Remembering to plug in the data, drum, data lead there and the power lead. Okay. Just be careful of these, slot it all the way and it clicks nicely there. Okay, so that's in. We have to um, replace the little tiny little grub screw just here. that. There's not really much to it really. Now this little um, this little gadget is a little bit fiddly. You just have to kind of line the bottom bits up with the holes in the bottom and just, there you go. <laughs> that actually went in fairly easy. Okay, so then we just have to replace the fascia. Oh, so this is fairly easy. Just take the face, line the little clips up in the holes, gentle tap with the hands that goes on. And then it's a simple case of popping the lid back on. be a little bit awkward. There we go. Just getting it all to line up properly can be a bit tricky, a bit troublesome. pop the screws back in and finally the very last screw going in there that's it job done sorted so double the memory increase the speed brilliant really pleased well guys that's it for this one I hope you managed to glean some useful information out of this video and that you're actually still watching right at the end. I really really appreciate that. If, if you did enjoy the video and you found it useful please like uh, and feel free to leave me a comment and um, if, if you would also like to then be great if you're subscribed. Cheers, thank you very much. I'm going to um, switch this little machine on now and uh, see how it performs. Bye!